Hi guys, Steve here. On this video, I want to show you how to tame the Astrocetus, the space whale. But before I do, please consider subscribing if you're not already. People have been watching my videos for years, but only 20% of you have actually subscribed to my channel. If everyone subscribed who watched my videos regularly, I'd have millions of subscribers. So if you're new, or a long-term viewer is not subscribed yet, please do so, as it will help me out with YouTube, and also click the bell or notifications so you don't miss out on any of my live streams or videos. And like, comment and share with your friends. Oh, and I would definitely advise you to watch this entire video because there's something in it that's pretty special. Trust me, you won't want to miss it. Right, let's get to it. The first thing you need to know is how to survive in the lunar biome. Without the right gear, you constantly get damaged by radiation. If you're in the shadows or if it's night, you become freezing cold and start to lose health. And if you're in the sun, you become overheated and start roasting to death. I've not spent much time here, but I've worked out the following. With a full hazmat suit on, you can stop yourself getting irradiated, which is a little burning man icon in the bottom right. Hazmat gear also stops you from getting overheated. And as you can see, I'm not losing any health at the moment. If I switch to full tech armour, powered by element, you'll notice that the radiation symbol goes and is replaced by a shield. That means I'm not getting any of the effects of the radiation now, but you notice because I'm in the sun I get overheated, and my health's going down really quickly. That's because the tech suit can't protect me from heat, plus there's not much point wearing it because you can't even fly around in it, as that ability is turned off in Genesis. So when you get to the lunar biome, definitely have a set of hazmat gear ready to use. I'll be showing you two methods to tame a space whale, and we'll start off with the one you can do now. Because the whales fly about, you'll need to as well. And you can do that when you get yourself a hover skiff. To unlock the tech engram to be able to make it, you need to complete the final test boss on Gamma difficulty. And you can access that through Helena by completing enough challenges. i show you how I've set up this one and tell you why. At the front I put a foundation in the middle to lift the cannon up and give me more clearance. Then I put a cannon on top to repeatedly shoot high level whales. I put two foundations each side to give me more clearance. A large storage box to keep cannonballs in. Two cannons at the back facing backwards. At first the whale will be chasing you, so you can shoot it as it gets closer. Standing torches to keep you warm. The hazmat suit protects you against heat, but not freezing cold. And I'll just go to the back and enter the controls. It's a good ramp animation. And I'll just move away from here and show you where I've built a little roof. Because the lunar biome's got low gravity, when you jump over things like the foundations on my ship, you go flying up in the air and it wastes time. So I put this roof above me to stop me floating away. Pretty good idea, eh? Not bad. Right, let's look for a space whale. I move around a map so it might take a little while. I'll skip forward until I find one. Right, I've just flown over one. Oh, there's another spawn in a bit late. See what level that is. 20. See what level this one is. 50. Perfect. Right, go back to your skiff. Let's start with uh, 21 first. So get it behind you. Shoot it with a long neck. Use a trank dart if you want. Doesn't matter on the first hit. Fly away a short distance. It will follow you. Prepare your cannon. That's why the cannons are faced backwards. Aim it to where it's heading. And when it gets close, fire and hit it in the head. Like so. And it's knocked out. The low level ones get knocked out really quickly with one hit. So it's really easy to tame. The higher level ones take more hits. Right, let's get alongside it. And show you it's taming. Try and position myself gently. That'll do. Go to it. Unconscious. Still got loads of health. Now you need to feed it extraordinary kibble. 
This is the best known food and taming method at the moment. However, when it starts eating, you notice that its taming efficiency goes down really quickly. If a new food's discovered, I'll let you know in the comments below. Well, it's going to take a long time to feed, so I might as well go off and tame a level 51. That one's higher, so it'll probably need two cannonballs. And that's when things get a bit more complicated, when you're taming higher ones. Taming space whales are much easier when you're a group of two. One to fly the ship, then one to fire the cannon. You can do it solo, and that's how I'm going to show you to do it now. Where is that level 50? There it is. So I'm going to try and position myself in front of it. Make sure I've got cannonball loaded. Is it headed? Turn around. It's going up. It's got a bit of a turning radius. Shoot it with a long neck. Grab its aggro. Fly forward a little bit. Give you space to get on the cannon. Heads towards you. Aim the cannon at it. Then fire. Got it. It's moving away, so it's not knocked out yet. Right, we're taming started. Put another cannonball in. You don't want to shoot it with a long neck again. It might take its taming efficiency down. So what I'm going to do is study its flight pattern for a while. Predict where it's going to be. Get in front of it and then try and shoot it in the head with a front cannon. You've got to judge its speed, position and where it's headed. Like I say, if you was with another person, you could fly and then they can shoot it in the head easily. But I've got to get off, get to the cannon and try and shoot. So I hit it in the body then. I didn't count. I was a bit too late. So I've got to predict further out where it will be. Right, it's heading in there. Too slow. Try and get the angle. It's going diagonal. Yep, that would have been an okay. Keep, let's keep going diagonal. Get off. It should be. Oh, it's been awkward. <laughs> We'd have to change direction. So it flies in the same direction for a short time. Is that going to do it? Yes, it is. Just. And it's unconscious. It'll stay still. Hello. Right. So you can do it solo, it's just much harder. Get the extraordinary kibble. Let's get next to it. Oh, okay, it's it. Right, it's low gravity, but if you fall off, you'll just keep floating down. Be careful. Give it a kibble. So we've got two whales on the go. Oh, and keep an eye on your health. You notice that the freezing icon is there. That's because I've moved away from my stunning torches. It goes once you board your ship. While we're waiting, I'll show you the second technique. If you're on a private server, or when Genesis opens up and you can transfer different items in, you can use a tech mech to knock it out. I have one prepared here. It's got the cannon on the back. Shoot a whale to aggro it. Try and drag it to the ground. It's moved away from me. It's too far out. I'm going to have to get closer. When you jump... In the lunar biome, you hover a hell of a long time in a tech mech. See what I mean? It's 
slowly going down. If you do this technique, you'll need a whale close to the ground. Or at least try and shoot it, so bring it down to the ground. Right, shoot it. Grab its aggro. It'll head towards you. Go to the cannon mode. Wait until it looks at you. Open wide. And shoot it in the face. That's knocked it out. But this method does quite a bit more damage than the cannon. As you can see by the lack of health. Well, it's knocked out. And again, just give it kibble. And that's a technic method. I'm going to leave this one here. And go back to the level 21, see how that's doing. There it is. I'm not sure if it loses efficiency if you hit it with your skiff. Let's test it. Get a little knock. Right, it's at 14% efficiency at the moment, which is normal because it starts at 22.5% efficiency for a level 20. That's why I'm thinking it might prefer something unknown to eat over extraordinary kibble because the efficiency is so low. The server taming multiplier is on 1. I might boost that later. Go up to 15% taming. Alright, let's try it. If we can lower it with ramming it. No, it's still on 14%. Let's hit it a few more times. <laughs> Come on, wake up. I wouldn't advise doing this. I'm just doing it to test. No, efficiency is still the same. Right, I'll put the server taming up to times four to hurry things along. Let's see how it's doing. 79%. One more kibble should do it. As you can see, the efficiency has dropped down to 5.7, and we get no more extra bonus levels. So it's either bugged, meant to be like this, or everyone's missing something. Either way, this taming method sound, it might just need a different food. And if it does, I'll put it in the description below. Almost done. You it. To the arm. There we go. We've now got a space whale. What shall I name it? I know. Whale of a time. <laughs> Alright, where's it gone? It's gone down below for some reason. Should be on follow. Yep. It's about to stay where it is. Right, now put a saddle on it. Put my junk in there. Let's take it out for a spin. Does look cool. Again, the modelers and designers did a good job on it. Right, right mouse button is to tail whip. Left mouse button is to chomp down with a mouth. I'll show you that from the front. Got a big tongue. Show you around the whale and what the saddle looks like. It's got man guns at the top and the bottom. This thing also drops bombs. Right, let's try the jump ability. Press space, then you get a ball. Press left mouse button and you'll teleport to where it is. 
like so. Well, I thought it'd have a longer range. Now get you around quicker. It uses up cosmic power in the bottom left. There's a bottom turret. Can't jump yet, it's in the red. Right, I'm underneath it. Let's drop a bomb. Cool. So those yellow units in the bottom middle, they seem to be for the bombs, I think. Let's teleport to some land. Try and kill the stuff below. Alright, at six blast radius, I presume. Dropped a couple of bombs, quite powerful. I like it, it's like a Zeppelin. Bombing them from above. Right, let's get in the turrets. Try the rear one first. Oh, they feel good. Blast everything. Let's seem to be able to zoom in. Let's try the next turret. Guns are pretty powerful. 108 instantly. I like it's like a proper gunship. It'd be ace for base raiding. Top turret. I oh, shoot myself. Doesn't look like it. Always guns use elements. And a hell of a lot of it. I think they might be the powerfulest guns. Better than the Max, maybe. The space Whale looks really good, doesn't it? You can tame the Space Whales as you can the Rock Golems. So maybe you want to try putting a catapult in the back of the skiff. And you'll need one to fly and then one to shoot. But I can't do that because I'm taming it solo. That's how everyone else would tame it. But for those of you who are stuck with the video this far, I'm going to give you a little treat and show you an exceptional way. To do all the challenges and beat the boss, just to get a tech skiff will take you a long time and is a bit of a pain. And so is getting all the resources for the tech mech if you can transfer it into your server. So go to your drawer and get a new pair of socks because I'm about to blow yours off. If the whales can be tamed other ways a rock golem can, then you can use a rocket launcher, which is a lot easier and cheaper than a skiff or a mech to get. If only you had a creature that could fly in the lunar biome and where you could fire a rocket launcher from. That's right, the Bloodstalkers were made to be in this zone. They're not able to hook onto the whales with their webs, which I thought I might be able to. But because they're so light, they can jump and float in space. And because there's low gravity here, if you jump again, they'll carry on in the direction you want to go. Hell yeah. All you need for a space whale is a Bloodstalker, rocket launcher and rockets, and some extraordinary kibble. And all those tiny rocks floating around, which had no purpose before, are now anchor points for you to swing your Bloodstalker off. And because there's low gravity here, moving around is so much easier. So you can move around quickly and position yourself wherever you want. Right, I'm going to stop swinging around and show you how to tame a whale with one of these. I have selected my target. This one's level 50. It's Nublet's orange colour. Get my rocket launcher out. Reload it. And you want to try and get out in front of it or above its head. Hold control to open the Bloodstalker's legs like a parachute and it will slowly glide down. This gives you great control for moving and aiming. 
glide in a direction it's heading then jump in a direction you think it's going to get ahead of it to get the whale's aggro get really close to its mouth and it'll try and attack you or get as close as you can to its head and rocket launch it you can fire the rocket and then jump away so you don't get caught in the explosion when you've got aggro it will fly after you giving you a perfect shot at its head open up your legs to glide and shoot in the head when it's close yep that counted after the first hit the low level ones will try to avoid you and fly off in a different direction however with this one i've still got aggro missed with that rocket jump away quickly before it can hit you you're fairly tanky so you shouldn't take much damage this time i'm ready for it it'll take a little while to get used to flying the bloodstalker and where to position yourself to the speed and direction of a whale and because the missiles are fairly slow you need to get as close to the head as you can work out the angle and timing of when you're going to fire now it's trying to avoid me going in a different direction this is the very first time I tried it, so I learnt as I went. Try and glide down to where it's going to be. Place where it's heading. Open your legs to glide and float slower. Slowly drop down onto it and then jump in a direction it's heading. If you need to fall faster, don't press control so you're not gliding. And you'll fall quicker and fire when you think you can hit it no that was a bad hit try and drift just past its head no that hit its side again I'll have to be careful I can't miss it any more times don't know where that missile went that one should be good yep he moves to the side when you've hit him right. That was okay as well. He stopped moving. I do believe he's knocked out. That was close. He didn't have much health left. Well, it was my first go attempt in this. And you now know what you can do and take your time. Now, you know you can't cling to it with a web. So what I'm going to do is try and glide onto its back to see if that works. Or am I going to slide off, place your bets. Looks like I'm sliding off. So you can't land your bloodstalker on it. You can't grappling hook it. So how are you going to get off to give it kibble? I'll give you a sec to think, what would you do? What I'm going to do is jump off just above it, use a parachute. And very, very slowly glide down to it. In the low gravity this might take a while. I'm going to speed things up a bit. Now I'm heading towards its tail because I want a largest window of opportunity to access its inventory. Let's see if I can do it here. Nope. Let's slide down. Try here. Looks like I've got to be a bit further. Getting closer. There we go. Access inventory. Drop the kibbling quick. Now that's all you need to do. Oh, I'm caught on its side. It's hungry, so it started taming already. It's safe up here, nothing can get it. I could hang around here. But I want to drop off and make sure my bloodstalker's okay. So my bloodstalker is directly above a whale, so it should have dropped somewhere down here. 
Hopefully. Can't see it yet. There's another whale. Oh, is that it? Oh, it's been attacked. It's still alive. Oh, get shot by the drones. Done a bit of a scrap, but I'm passive. Kind of should have done that before. Get it, get the hell out of there. I can outrun the drones by casting a web. Just jump in. Carry on jumping all the way back up to the whale. Every time you jump, it uses a little bit of stamina. So I've spec loads into stamina. The whale is nice and safe. It is still taming. Just get close to it. Show you a tame bar. Mission accomplished. And using a rocket launcher and a bloodstalker is a really cheap way to tame a whale. If you found this video helpful and you're new here, or if you've been here before, please subscribe as these videos take days to make. Also click the bell notifications on all and you'll get notified of when I upload videos and live stream. Also please like, comment and share with your friends. Thank you very much for watching and don't forget to check out my other videos at the end. Goodbye. And thanks for Tyrant for suggesting the Bloodstalker.